Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Um, today we're going to do a very nice vinyasa yoga flow. Um, you just need a yoga mat, a little bit of space. As you can tell, you can always maneuver away your way around things in your house. Um, if you have a block and a strap, great. If not, don't worry. We'll um, try to provide as many modifications as possible. So we're going to start in our child's pose. I'm going to start with my knees underneath me. Just I'm just getting warmed up, so I want to give my back, my lower back, that nice support. So I'm going to come down into child's pose, and when we come down there, let's just start to breathe. See where your breath is, take a few, and then start to breathe in and out through our nose, um, and that will be how we're going to try to breathe the remainder of our practice today. So I'm going to reach my arms forward. My stomach is going to rest on my thighs. My forehead's going to come to the mat, and I'm just going to start to um, find my breath in this first posture. So take this time to really feel out your body today. How are you feeling? Where are you feeling compression? Um, where are you feeling tightness? Just be aware of how you're feeling today so that you can make adaptations to how we do our yoga practice today. Slowly on your next, next breath, exhale. We're gonna to start to move our hands to the right side of our mat. Try to keep both palms on the ground. If possible, you can overlay your left hand on your right. Here, we wanna feel the stretch from our pinky finger on our left hand all the way down to our hip. So we'll take a few breaths here. We're starting to open up the left side of our body. On your next inhale, we'll start to bring our hands to the front of the mat. And then on that next exhale, we're gonna walk our hands now to the left side of our mat. So I'm gonna bring my right hand to come over my left, and I'm gonna keep reaching until I start to feel that big stretch along the right side of my body. Breathe into that opening on your right side every time you're inhaling and exhaling. start to bring those hands back to the center. Our last two breaths here. Let's take our hands and create a nice thumbs up. Open up those shoulder scapulas just a bit. So turning onto the side of your hands if possible and just a few more breaths here. exhale slowly coming up onto all fours so every time we meet in all fours neutral spine shoulders are over wrists stacked and hips are over your knees I'm gonna look right on the front of my yoga mat sometimes while I'm taking a few breaths here I'll roll my ankles one way roll them the other ground your toes down we're going to start with a few cat cows. So on your first inhale, your belly draws down, chest comes up. And exhale, draw that belly in to your spine. Round your chin and your chest forward. Inhale, shoulders back. Exhale, round your shoulders forward. So we're just starting, starting to get our vertebrae and all parts of our spine to really start moving. Get used to the flexion, the rounding. 
We're all gonna be on different breaths here, guys. So inhale, tuck. Exhale, release the belly down. You can move your hips side to side. It's your practice. I'm just guiding you the basics. In your next exhale, let's stay in this rounding. And then I slowly want you to keep this position as we sit our sit bones back into our heels and come back forward. Good. Back to our nice neutral spine. Once you feel grounded, let's take that back right leg and we're gonna extend it directly out, kicking the back of the wall. And then we're gonna inhale our opposite left arm forward. So we're already getting into a little bit of balancing here, a little bit of core work. We wanna keep our core tight as we're trying to counterbalance each of these. Neck is neutral. Take a nice big inhale in. As you exhale, your elbow meets your opposite knee underneath. Create a nice tuck. Inhale, kick out. Exhale, elbow meets the knee. Try to keep your knee, your leg off the mat. And one more time, exhale to knee underneath. And inhale, extend out. Keep the back leg up, put your left arm down. Now we're gonna bring that leg out um, horizontal to that same side. So I'm gonna take a big inhale in. Exhale, my foot, hip is going to wrap, flex out to the side. Inhale, back up. Exhale, kick that leg out. See if you can keep it nice and parallel. Inhale back. One more. And inhale back. Good, slowly, right knee meets the left. Everything we do with ease and we do very gently. So we don't really wanna be slamming down our body parts as we're coming out or something. So try to create a nice flow. Come back to that balance. Once you're ready and feel grounded, kick that back left leg heel to the back room. And I'm gonna inhale my opposite right arm forward. Make sure I feel balanced here. Core is tight, both, hip, both hips are facing my mat. Big inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Exhale, knee meets elbow and nose underneath. Inhale back. And one more. And inhale, arms and leg. Arm come, right arm comes down. Keep that left leg flexed behind you. Big inhale. Exhale, rotate the hip so that the left leg comes out to the side. Inhale back, exhale, inhale back, and let's get one more in, and inhale that leg back. Left knee comes down to meet the right. I'm going to flex my toes so that the tops of my, so that my all 10 toes are on the ground, and I'm gonna sit back. So I just wanna move the neck a little bit. I'm gonna take my right hand, reach it over to my left ear, and just give a slight assistance in trying to get my right ear to my right shoulder. We're getting into the stretching of our neck as well as the tops of our ankles. Slowly start to release that right hand. And as I bring my left ear to my left shoulder, I'm gonna inhale my right, my left hand up to my right ear and just give myself a gentle pull until I feel a nice stretch on the right side of my neck. My 
those big inhales and exhales here, keeping everything nice and consistent in the diaphragm. And you can slowly start to release your hand. Now I'm just gonna bring my chin to my chest, create that nice stretch in the back of my neck. You can use your hands for a little bit of support if needed. If you start to feel a lot of compression in your ankles, it gets a little bit unbearable. You can come off them for a second, give them a roll, and then come back. And we'll release our hands, and then we're just gonna bring our chin to the sky. back down to all fours. If you would like, you can give the tops of your feet a little bit of bang on the mat. I promise it feels good after getting that nice compression up there. Transitioning our way into puppy, warming up our tops of our shoulders. Hips are staying where they are, stacked over my knees, and I'm just going to start moving my hands to the front of the to my mat. Aiming to get my chest and my chin on the mat. If you can't come down that far, that's totally fine. Come to your comfort till you start to feel that really good stretch up here. Hold this for a few breaths. slowly start to inch my hands back underneath my shoulders till I'm on my all fours again with the correct stacking. Inhale, tuck my toes. Exhale, pushing up into my first down dog. So it's our first time in this, so give your body, you know, some, some ease here. You can bend one leg, cycle back and forth, move your hips. Come on your toes and come back down. Just kind of adjust whatever feels good. And then once you're ready, find that nice static position. All 10 fingers on the ground. My head is through my elbows, peeking through my uh, calves. Work our goal. One of our goals is to always try to think about getting our heels to the mat. If they're not, that's totally fine. Some days they will, some days they won't. You can create a slight bend in your knees if you feel rounding of the spine. So I'd rather see a slight bend in the knees and a nice neutral spine. And just breathe here for a few. your way to start tiptoeing those toes towards your hands. If you need to create a nice bend in both of your knees in order to get your hands and your feet next to each other, that's completely okay. And my chest is resting on my thighs. My feet are about hip distance apart just to give my lower back release some tension there. You can ragdoll here for a few breaths if you would like. Try to release any tension you're holding in your neck and your upper body. Just let it all fold forward. We're gonna make our way up to our standing. So I'm rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae very slowly. My neck is going to be the last thing that rises. Once I'm standing tall, all four corners of my feet are pressed down on the mat, flexion in my thighs, 
shoulders back. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, forward fold, hands meet feet. We're gonna to inhale to a halfway lift. So sometimes you can put your hands on your cat, on your shins, wherever they need to be in order to straighten those legs as well as get a nice neutral spine. Create a 90 degree. And then we're gonna exhale our hands back down. Step back with your right and then left until we're in a full top push-up position. And I'm gonna exhale my whole body to the mat, nice and slowly keep my elbows tucked in. Exhale till my full body meets the mat and I'm gonna release my toes. Inhale to our cobra. So this isn't using our arms so much, it's more about using our muscles in our lower back. So I'm gonna inhale, my chest comes up, chin comes up and exhale back down. Let's go into a cobra one more time. Inhale. Hands are just here for support. And exhale. Inhale onto your knees. And I'm gonna exhale, push back into down dog. Good. You guys just did your first vinyasa. Looking through my hands, I'm gonna inhale and bend my knees, step up my left foot, and then to meet my right, hands and feet are on the ground. Inhale to that halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms come up all the way so we're standing tall, and we're exhaling back down to that forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, left and right into that top push-up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale to Cobra or option if you want to push up into a full up dog. So now we're really using those arms. And we'll exhale back to down dog. Good, few breaths here. Remembering all the points we talked about in our down dog, maybe our Back of our quads are feeling a little bit more loose now. Looking into my hands, I'm going to inhale, bend my knees. You can step or the option to float. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, my arms all the way up. And exhaling back down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands meet feet, jump or step back here. You can lower all the way down or exhale to a hover and choose your variation of either cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Let's check in on our breath, guys. Are we still breathing in and out through our nose? If our heart rate elevated, let's take these few breaths to try to come back down. I'm gonna look through my hands, inhale, step, jump, float to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive up. And exhale, come back down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, jump, step, float, however you need to. Come back to that step upward push-up. And exhale, coming all the way down or hovering the mat. Inhale up to your cobra or up dog. And exhale, down dog. Good. Take a few breaths here.
looking through my hands, I'm gonna bend my knees, jump step, float to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive up. And I'm gonna exhale, hands to side. Bend your knees, sweep the mat. Inhale up to our chair pose. So a nice bend in my knees. I'm gonna act like I'm sitting back into a chair. Chest up, arms up. Keep your core tight here. And exhale, straighten out the legs, coming into our forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to mat, jump or step back, going into our chaturanga, exhale down. Inhale to cobra, upward dog. You could choose whichever variation each time, whichever feels good. Exhale back to our down dog. Left foot stays in place, my right foot's coming up into my three-legged dog. I'm just gonna open up the hip here. You can do a few circles with that leg that's up to the ceiling. Bend it, straighten, whatever feels good. Let's all inhale that three-legged dog up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, back to three-legged dog. Exhale, opposite knee to left elbow. Inhale, back. And left, right knee to right elbow. Good, guys, stay strong here. Inhale, three-legged dog. And I'm gonna exhale my knee to nose. And then place my right foot in between my left and my right hands. Back foot's turning to a 45 degree angle. My next inhale, I'm coming up to my warrior one. Arms up. Try to work on getting both hips facing forward. And exhale back over that right leg. I'm gonna inhale back to my upward push up and chaturanga. Again, knee and down dog. Once you guys are in down dog, let's go to the other side. Left leg inhales up to three legged dog. Again, take, take a few breaths here. Open up the hip, do a few circles. Whatever you did on the one side, let's do on the other. Inhale, that leg is straight up to a three-legged dog. And exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, back up. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow. Inhale, back up, three-legged dog. Exhale, same knee, same elbow. Nice, guys, stay strong. Inhale, up. Exhale, knee to nose until you can place your left foot between your left and your right hands. Turning that back foot to a 45 degree angle. Inhale to your warrior one now on our left side. And exhale, come back down over that front knee. Inhale your leg back and let's float through our chaturanga. meeting in down dog. Feel a little bit more limber now, hopefully. Inhale, look in between your hand, hands, bend your knees, hop, jump, jump, step, whatever you gotta do. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Hopefully this flow is starting to become more second nature to you guys. Inhale, bend your knees, sweep the floor, and arms up into our chair pose. Core tight, sit your butt back. 
and inhale into our standing position. Sorry if I'm out of frame, guys. A few breaths. Inhale, bend your knees, sweep the mat, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step, jump, float back. Go through your chaturanga. Inhale through your upward dog or cobra. And we're gonna exhale, push back into that down dog. Next inhale, right toes come up to our three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, toes come up. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow. And then I'm going to extend my right leg out to the side. And then bring the weight on my right hand as I bring my left hands up to the ceiling. Falling star. Good job, guys. Slowly bringing my left hand back down to the mat. Sweeping my right leg through up to a three-legged dog. Exhale, right toes all the way through to meet your hands in both hands. Back toes, 45 degree angle. Inhale, warrior one. And our next exhale, we're rotating and coming out into our warrior two. Hands come out to a T. Try to keep that front knee in line with that ankle. Good, inhale back to our reverse warrior. Back hand can lay on your thigh or your calf, just not on our knee. Gaze up to that right fingers if you can. And let's part with those arms forward to frame that right foot. Inhale the toes back. Either push back to a down dog or chaturanga. Good. We're all gonna meet in down dog and then we're gonna go to the other side. Left toes, inhale up to our three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow. We're gonna hold this and then we're going to extend our left leg out to our fallen star. Putting the weight on my left hand, right arm reaches up and I'm stacked over that left arm. Nice job, guys. Right arm comes back down to the mat. Inhale the left leg back through, three-legged dog. Exhale till your left foot lands in between left and right hand. Turn that back leg. Inhale to our warrior one. Remember to breathe, guys. Open up those hips. We'll exhale back down to our warrior two. Nice strong arms reaching forward and back at the same time. Inhale, reverse warrior. Back arm lands on thigh or calf. Exhale, cartwheel those arms, frame the front foot. Inhaling those left toes back, either push to your down dog or come through your chaturanga. Meeting in down dog. Nice job guys, a few breaths here, check back in. Are you still breathing through your nose? Gaze in between those hands, bend your knees, jump, step, float to the front. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Good job. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the mat, chair pose, core tight, chest up. And exhale, stand tall. Two breaths here. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the mat, arms come up, chair pose. Last chair pose, guys, I swear. <laughs> Exhale, straighten out those legs, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to mat or bring them to your shins. Exhale, hands to mat, jump step, float back. Exhale, all the way down, either pushing up to cobra or upward dog. Exhale, tuck your toes, and come up into that down dog. All right, one more addition, here we go. Inhale those toes up, three-legged dog, right leg. Inhale, knee to nose. Inhale, toes back, I mean exhale, toes back. Knee to nose, and then place that right leg through, left and right hand. Back toes turn back. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, open up those hips and arms to warrior two. Inhale, arms back to reverse warrior. Right fingertips to the ceiling or sky. And we're exhaling to right angle. My right elbow is coming onto that right knee. Now left fingertips are coming up to the ceiling. If you'd like to go further, you can start to overreach those left fingertips to come towards the front wall. We're gonna inhale those arms back to warrior two. And then cartwheel our arms forward, bring the front foot, inhale the legs back, and flow through a chaturanga. Exhale, meeting in down dog. Left toes come up to our three-legged dog. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, back toes up. Three-legged dog, and exhale, knee to nose, left foot placed between left and right hands. Turning back 45 degrees on that right foot, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, open up to our warrior two. Inhale, right arm back, left arm up, reverse warrior. Stare at the top fingertips or rotate the neck to the bottom, whatever feels good. And exhale to our side angle. Left elbow comes to left knee. Right arm comes up, fingertips towards the sky. If you would like to extend those fingertips over and start to reach towards the front of the room. Keep your chest open guys. So try not to collapse. Bicep by your ear. Inhale, arms up, warrior two. And cartwheel the arms down, frame the foot. Left toe step back to meet the right. Either go into our down dog or chaturanga. <laughs> Once we're all in down dog, you may stay here for a few breaths or if you'd like to come down into that child's pose. I'm gonna go knees wide now. Take these next few breaths. If our heart rate came up, if we kind of lost that rhythm, let's find it again. Inhales and exhales.
If we're in child pose, let's slowly come up and make our way to down dog. Heels back, all 10 fingers pressed forward. Once I'm comfortable here, I'm gonna get into a slight uh, spinal twist. So my left arm is going to cross across underneath my body and it's going to land either on my right quadricep, I mean my right thigh, um, my right calf, all the way down to your ankle. Once you have a nice grip, guys, I just want a slight pull until we get a good little rotation in our back. So we'd be looking underneath our right armpit. Left arm releases, come back to our reset down dog. And then once you're ready, let's go to the other side. My right arm crosses underneath, lands on either my hamstrings, over towards my calf or my ankle. Once you get a good grip, an ever so slight pull to give yourself a little twist. And slowly start to release that right hand back to our down dog. I'm gonna walk my toes up to my hands. Turn that so I'm facing you guys. Feet are hip distance away. I'm gonna halfway lift, but I'm gonna put my hands right on my hip bones. And then as I come down, I'm gonna take my two piece fingers and they're going to wrap around my big toes. Inhale again to create that nice neutral spine. And then you exhale to fold forward. Arms come out, bend your knees as much as you need to to get that chest to your thighs. Try to bring the weight into those front toes, guys. So if I was there right now, I would want to slide a piece of paper underneath your heels and it would be able to go underneath. So really trust yourself to bring that weight forward. Create that nice good stretch in our hamstrings. Slowly releasing those hands. I'm gonna put my hands on my hips. My next exhale, I'm gonna come down into my garland squat. So adjust your feet if you need to. And then as I come down, I'm trying to keep my all points of my feet on the ground until my elbows can fall in between my knees. I use them as support to push them out. Guys, feel free here if you need to put a block a wall ball, um, a couple of cushions underneath for support, that's totally fine. Chest is high. You may stay here or I'm going to go a little bit further and my right arm is going to reach out to the right side as I inhale my left fingertips up to the ceiling. My next inhale, my hands are coming back to meet. I'm resetting in the center. Now I'm gonna go over to the other side. Left arms reach out to the left side of my mat, inhaling my right fingertips to the ceiling. And my next inhale, my hands are meeting in the center again. You may use your hands if you would like as support to put in front of you as we rise those hips back up. 
and open up our legs until we're in a nice wide stance. Go as wide as you need to. When your while your hands are still down, you can start to rotate your left hip to your left side, right hip to your right, so we're getting deep into those upper thigh muscles. I always bring my heels to the back of my mat for alignment to make sure I know my legs are lined up. Hands to hips. Inhale. And as I exhale forward, I'm gonna find anywhere on my legs. Again, it comes to the sides of the lower legs. You can come down to your ankles or if you're able to grip your outer feet. Legs stay straight as you exhale and forward fold. Same concept here, guys. Get the weight on those toes. On that next breath, we'll release. We'll come back up to where standing. And I'm gonna heel toe my toes a little bit closer and rotate on, rotate on my heels until my toes are both facing the front of the mat. Hips are forward, toes are forward. I'm clasping my hands behind me on the inhale. And as I exhale, I'm gonna fold over that front left leg. If you feel yourself losing balance here, guys, I find pushing weight into my front big toe helps a lot. If you need to readjust, you can bring those legs in as close or as far as they need to. Release your hands so that you can walk back to the middle. Create that nice wide split stance, but now we're going into a goddess pose. So I'm turning my toes out, bending my knees, and I'm gonna put my hands right on my knees. As I push into my right knee, my right shoulder is going to fall as well as pushing out my right knee. So it should be a good inner thigh stretch. Make sure to keep pushing those hips and glute muscles down. Let's inhale and go to the other side. Come back to the middle. We'll straighten out those legs as we heel toe both of our toes to face our back mat. Grasp your hands on the inhale. So reverse grip, however you usually grip, we're gonna reverse and we're gonna exhale over now our right leg. If you guys lose balance and you fall out of this, don't worry. Just get back in it. Laugh at yourself and then come right back in it. If this grip behind is too much, frame the foot, frame the front foot, whatever you gotta do to get this nice stretch in our front leg. Release your hands if you haven't already. Framing this front foot. We're gonna push back into a down dog. I'm gonna bring my right toes to the ceiling for my three-legged dog. And now when I inhale, I'm coming right into my pigeon. So my right knee is coming towards my right wrist. 
and my right heel is landing towards my left thigh. If we have more hip mobility, you can take this time to move this front leg more parallel. If you don't, don't even worry about it. We're just gonna keep that front leg nice tucked in. So first we align is your back leg on the ground and are both of your hips facing forward. We're gonna stay in here for a few breaths, guys, so we have options. You can stay upright. If you're able to submit a little bit, let's come down to those elbows. If you have a wall ball, um, a block, you can put that here to rest on. Or if you would like to fully come over that front leg, feel free. Two more breaths here, guys. Try to stay in this if you can. It does get uncomfortable. The longer you hold positions, the more it might start to feel like things are tightening and things are tingling. Um, but that's also because the longer we stay in postures, the more benefit you get out of that. So definitely keep that in mind. Try to hold it if you can. We're gonna make our way up. If we're laying down on our forearms, we wanna crawl back, come back up. So we're upright on our hands. Optional back quad stretch. If we are CrossFitters doing a lot of squats, I highly recommend it. You're just gonna start to bring that heel up and then with my same leg, with my same arm, I'm going to come back and grab that foot. Now, if you have a strap, you can wrap it around and pull or if you're able to you know, grab a piece of clothing and just give the heel a nice pull to this glute until you really start to feel the stretch. I promise it won't take too much to feel it. Let's release that back foot. I'm going to bring my weight onto my right glute as I swing my left leg around and my heel is either going to land in front of my right bent knee or on the other side. We're all gonna be at different levels, so whatever's comfortable for you. Left arm comes back to act as my, my second spine. Inhale, right arm up. When you exhale into this twist, two options. You either hug the front knee, or if you are able to, elbow drops on the outside of the front knee. Every inhale is, an, is a spine extension and every exhale is a twist. Get one more good twist in there with your exhale. and then we're gonna slowly release that. So the best way to do it, let me talk you through coming out the same way we came through, or if you just wanna unravel, that's totally fine as well. Weight comes on our side right glute. I'm gonna swing my left foot back until I'm back into my pigeon. I use my strong arm muscles to lift my right foot off the ground as I push back into my down dog. Readjust here. And then inhale those left toes to the sky. Got to go to the other side. And exhale, left knee to left wrist. Left heel to opposite right hip. Again, if you have the mobility and flexibility here, you can move this front leg up to parallel. I'm going to stay here today. 
Before we go down, we always want to make sure we're in the correct adjustment. So are both of our hips facing forward? Is our back leg completely on the ground? If not, we just stay here and we, and you know, we let our body kind of feel where we're at now. If we're able to come over and fold over that front leg, great, let's do it. Wall, ball, block, anything you want to put in front of you, or if you just want to stay on these forearms, or if you want to come all the way down. So we aim for about eight breaths here, guys. Deep breaths. <laughs> Two more breaths here. Really trying to hold it for these last two breaths. Starting to make our way wherever we are back onto those hands. Once we're upright, we want to make sure both of our hips are still facing forward. Going into our optional splash, highly recommended quad stretch on the back leg. So you just start to bend the knee up until with that same arm, you either wrap a strap, grab a piece of clothing, or grab your ankle and start to bring the heel to the glute. Slowly release that back leg. All the weight comes onto our left glute. As I swing my right leg around, heel lands either in front or on the outside of our bent knee. Second spine with our right arm, inhale up. Left arm either hugs or lands on the outside of our right knee. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale to twist. Slowly unbind that twist. I advise coming out the same way we came in. So we're gonna bring all the weight onto our left glute, swing that right leg around till we're meeting back into our pigeon. Lift that front leg up so that we're able to come back into our down dog. We're gonna to come to a seated position. However you guys would like, if you just wanna come out of your down dog and fall into it, a little bit more of a challenge. You're going to inhale and try to jump through as much as you can. So we inhale. Some days your legs sweep all the way through. Sometimes they just stop right where the hands are, which is totally fine. Landing with our legs out right in front of us. I usually rock back and forth to make sure my sit bones are completely on the mat in front of me. Inhale, arms up. And then I'm hinging at the hips, not in the spine. As I exhale to take my two peace fingers again and grab my big toes. So this is the same as our standing forward fold guys. Bend your knees as much as you need to, to keep my back neutral and my stomach coming to my chest. And then from here, what you can work on doing is inching your heels to straighten your leg. But the second we start to feel this, we know to stop 
and this is a good stretching point for us. So just face forward, take a few breaths here. Inhale up. What I do is I keep this grip and I just start to walk my heels in until the soles of my feet are facing each other into our yogis call it Baddha Konasana. We can just call it butterfly stretch if that's what you guys know it as. Um, I like to take my, if I don't, if you don't have any knee problems, I take the soles of my feet and I open them up like I'm reading a book. So that really gets some opening. Try to work on just keeping those knees down. And if you exhale forward, I wanna first on our exhale, we're gonna keep our spine nice and straight. So maybe we only move a few centimeters, which is fine. As long as we're feeling that good stretch on the inside of our legs. My chest is up, my shoulders are back. Inhale up. Now on our next forward fold over our feet, I'm asking you to round your spine now. You don't hear that often. So we're gonna fold over our feet, but now we're gonna create that nice rounding, especially up here in our cervical spine. And I'm just gonna work on trying to get my forehead down to my toes. Most importantly, guys, especially on these folds and when we're flexing our spine or when we're creating some nice rounding in it, um, if you do have back pain, if you do have back injuries or if it doesn't feel good, please don't do it. Just kind of, we can stay here. You don't have to fold over. Um, if it's uncomfortable, I, rec I would recommend for you guys to really push your limits and see how it feels. If it's pain, please don't do it. Just kind of sit where um, you're not feeling the pain in this. Slowly inhale up, adjust if you need to so that you can bring your knees in and you can roll back onto our mat. So I want you to think about creating the smallest ball possible. Wrap around your knees. I'm gonna bring my forehead to my knees and just get in the smallest ball that you can really create some compression. And then as I release, my feet are going up to the to the ceiling or sky about 90 degrees. And I'm gonna bring my hands up as well. So we're just gonna reverse the blood flow a little bit. It's kind of a similar sensation of if we were doing inversions, um, back bend, wheel, handstands, any of that, but in virtual classes, I would rather not teach you guys through inversions if I'm not there. So we're just gonna create the sensation. And as I'm up here with my legs at 90 degrees as well as my arms, I always like to do just a few rolls with my ankles as well as my wrist. So really, they're not meant to be fast, guys. Do big rolls, really exaggerate, but nice and slow. Maybe you get some cracks. For the most part, that can be normal. And now you can do a little bit faster. Move your legs. So we're gonna finish off in, um, in Happy Baby, and then we'll make our way down to our final Shavasana. So if this is a lot for you, you can do one Happy Baby at a time. So you just grab one leg if you are able to, as your knees come out to your armpits, you wanna flex your feet until you can grab the outsides of your feet with your hands. Get a nice grip. 
and then I work on trying to get my whole spine on the ground. My neck is on the ground, so I don't want to be lifted up. And I'm using my arm strength to just pull my hips down, not forward, not back. I'm just taking the tops of my feet and working on pulling them right to the mat. If you can, try to make sure your feet are stacked over your knees. This is probably a very weird sensation for a lot of us, especially us men, which is fine. Embrace it. Hold it for a few more breaths, or if you guys want to start to make your way to your Shavasana, or if you want to take um, a last few new movements, if you feel like we didn't really get into a position that you wanted to stretch and open up, you can do that now. Sometimes I'll throw in a few twists. As you slowly make your, make your way to Shavasana, you go into whatever is comfortable for you. So some people like to bring the soles of their feet together, bring your, knee, your knees out. So while you're resting, you're still kind of stretching a bit, or you can just really spread those legs out, arms fall where they want, whatever is comfortable for you. And the point here is just to start to find total relaxation. Let your breath do whatever it needs to do. Don't worry about the in and out through the nostrils. Just find that nice natural breathing pattern. And wherever you are, if you can, start to close those eyes. We start from our head and we go all the way down to our toes. So we check in, am I holding any tension? How can I release that tension? And you wanna to start to feel your body from the top all the way down, start to melt into your mat. So if you guys can, please stay with me during this final Shavasana. It's really important to take these last few minutes of your practice to let your body reap all the benefits that we just did. So that's why it's nice to just lay still. And this is actually could be one of the hardest parts. You just want to quiet your mind and just focus on past, present, future, none of that. Just focus on right now. What are you doing? And just relax. If you guys are able to stay in the Shavasana, I please advise you to stay as long as you can. If you feel like you don't have time, then I advise you to stay longer. Um, really take these last few minutes to just relax and just worry about yourself and where you're at and thank yourself for watching in on this virtual class today and starting your body off with some good yoga. Um, Enjoy the rest of your day. Everyone stay happy, safe, and healthy. Namaste.